you, Mr. Merrick. Yeah, yeah, I see that. What is all of that stuff? From Brunel's. I just need a signature. There must be some mistake. I didn't order any of it. Maybe it was Mrs. Merrick. No, it was not my wife. Mm, right here, right here. Aha, benissimo. My stuff game. What, what, what stuff is that? I ordered a few things. A few things? Julia. Well, you know, when you travel light, you avoid those dreadful lines of baggage claim. If you don't mind, I find your credit card number on the roller deck. You know Mommy and Daddy's good for that, don't you? Thank you. Thank you, sir. A hair dryer. Don't you know that the hotel supplies those things free of charge? Oh, no offense to the management, but the stuff they have in my bathroom wouldn't be used in a kennel at home. My wife uses it. She never complains. Yeah, dear Gladys, where is she? Gloria, Jillian is at work. Married to you and she likes to work. Now, this isn't the color order. Julian, I don't know why your parents sent you here, but you cannot stay here indefinitely. But you're my favorite cousin. Now what? Yes. Yes, it just came for you, sir. It's fax from Europe, marked urgent. Good day, sir. You too. Please, I'm glad. Glorious seamstress. Skirt's hemline needs to be taken up at least three inches. This is from your parents. Oh, yeah, it must be from me, babe. No, no, it's addressed to me. Oh, I'm sure they just want to tell you all the gossip. <laughs> but I can fill you in on that. Um, did you hear about Barnett on Holstein? She was caught in flagrante in her cabana with um, the... Is there a reason that you don't want me to read this, Julian? Talk about understatement. What does it say? That you have gotten yourself into a rather awkward situation. Why is that an understatement? We'd rather not go into detail, but we feel it would be in everyone's best interest if Jillian could stay with you for a while, just until things quiet down. I think they don't know that I know about the love affair with a certain very married ambassador. You do? Jillian, it's been all over the tabloids. You and your lover romping on the Riviera. Americans are obsessed with royalty. Oh, dear. Well, I hope they didn't publish any topless photos of me like they did of Fergie. I want you to forget it. I am not going to be playing watchdog for a spoiled dilettante who has a penchant for getting into trouble with the wrong men. But we're family. And besides, you know, this whole thing was blown out of proportion out by that witchy of wife. proportion? The torrid love letters that you sent him were plastered on every rag sheet from Madrid to Moscow. Who are you calling? Your parents. I am sending you home on the next plane. What you say, my favorite cousin? No answer. What happened to the servants? Oh, yes. You know, I just remembered. Daddy gave them the month off. Him and mother's on a trip in the Far East. And you just remembered. Oh. Dimi. I promise not to misbehave. Jillian, from what I hear, that is like asking you not to breathe. Oh, no. Honestly, I mean, I was the one who was being taken advantage of, actually. I mean, that man broke my heart. I was so uh, uh, innocent uh, 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 and... Jillian, uh, you were born jaded. You're a flirt. And you like to take control. To you, it was just a fling. But to that man, it was disaster. Ruined his, his marriage, his career. You, know, you just you sound just like my parents. How many men have you seduced in the last six months? It's not a very nice thing to say. 
Meaning you've lost count. Can I just stay here until things blow over? You mean until new invitations start rolling in? The hunt ball, the grouse shoots in Scotland, the late parties in Gestad. Don't hold your breath, Jillian. Just a couple of months. I would really like to get better acquainted with the American side of the family and, and your new bride. You'd be bored in a week. No, I'm always open to a new experience. Oh. And new pocketbooks. Pardon? Your parents come off your allowance because you were a naughty, naughty girl, and now you're trying to con me into supporting you. You know, you're a fine one to talk about being naughty. You were so busy sowing your wild oats, you impregnated the upstairs mate. Without whom there would be no Anton. I'll give you five minutes to get dressed and pack your things. I'm, I'm so sorry, I really didn't mean... Obviously, you're used to saying whatever you want and getting away with it because your parents allowed it. That was their mistake. I will not tolerate that kind of language. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. I... I won't do it again. I'll be the soul of restraint. Please. I just need a second chance to start over here in the States. You're the only family I... Jillian! Gloria is waiting for me at the hospital. Try to stay out of trouble. We'll talk about this later. For, um, Count Andrashi. Mm hmm That's right. This is his cousin, Princess Jillian. I was just wondering, you wouldn't happen to have any sports cars for hire, would you? 